One of the new features in the upcoming release of DXperience 2010.2 is the Multiple Document Interface or MDI support in the End User Reports Designer. This feature enables you to work with multiple reports from a single instance of the Report Designer application. While we ship an End User Designer with extra reports, there may be cases where the Report Designer would need to be integrated into your application. Or perhaps you need to recreate one and brand it accordingly. Either way, the required steps to create an MDI designer are short and easy. In this video, we'll take a look at how to create an MDI end user designer from the ground up. We'll then demonstrate how to upgrade an existing SDI designer to use the new version of the components and introduce MDI functionality. So let's get started. Here I have a new WinForms application project. Let's bring up the project properties. The Extra Reports Designer components can only be used when targeting .NET Framework 2.0. The designer requires the full framework to be installed and will not function with the client profile subset of the .NET Framework. I close the project properties and return to the WinForms Designer. From the toolbox, I'll expand the DevExpress reporting group and drag and drop a new XR Design Bar Manager control onto the form. This adds all the required namespace references and creates the required bars, menus, and items. All the items are also wired to the appropriate event handlers and code, so you won't need to write any code to complete the functionality. If you've created an end user designer in the past, you'll notice there are two additional components added. The XR Design MDI controller and extra tabbed MDI manager components provide the multiple document support within the application. Now I need to complete the application's layout by adding the required dockable panes. This is easily accomplished using the XR Design Dock Manager component. You can see the control automatically creates the required dock layout and populates them accordingly. To enable application-wide theming, I'll expand the DevExpress Components group in the toolbox and drag and drop a new default look and feel control onto the form. I'll set its skin name property to Office 2010 Black so the theme is applied to all the UI components used on the form. And that's it. Let's run the application to see the results. Here it is, the end user reports designer we just created. I'll click the new button to create a new report. You can see the report surface is loaded and displayed as a new tab. I create two more empty reports. Then I browse for an existing report layout and load that into the designer as well. The window menu gives me a list of currently open reports and allows me to switch between them. By unchecking the tabbed interface item, the reports are displayed in Windows in cascading mode. When I invoke the window menu again, you can see that a few more options have been added. In addition to the default cascade view, I can tile the windows horizontally or vertically. That's how quick and easy it is to create your own end user designer with MDI support. Now let's see how you can upgrade from an existing single document designer that has been created using a previous version. I switch to another instance of Visual Studio that has such a project loaded. You can see that the MDI specific components are not present. I run the application, create a new report, and you'll notice no tabs are created and the Windows menu item is missing. So let's see how to convert this designer to support MDI. I close Visual Studio. First, the project needs to be upgraded to use version 10.2 components. I've created a shortcut to the Project Converter on the desktop. I launch the Project Converter and browse to select the Projects folder. I click the Upgrade button and the project's references are updated accordingly. Let's close the Converter and launch Visual Studio again. From the recent project list, I'll click to load the project. The application has now been upgraded and is using the 10.2 version of the Reports Designer components. We'll need to make a few quick customizations to add MDI functionality. To start, I'll select the XR Design Bar Manager component and invoke its smart tag. You can see an update link within the smart tag menu. I click the link and the menu bar is updated accordingly. You can see the window menu, as well as a close item within the file menu, have been added. Next, I'm going to add the multiple document functionality. 
To do this, I select and delete the existing XR design panel control that is used to load the report's design surface. From the DevExpress reporting group in the toolbox, I add an XR design MDI controller to the form. This adds the capability to use tabbed as well as floating MDI documents. I run the application one last time. And you can see I can now create multiple new reports, add items to them, and copy paste items between each report. All of this within the same instance of the designer. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing DevExpress.